The managing of expectations and reality is very important for the growth of an individual. And the difference between your expectations and reality can bring out all sorts of things about yourself and other people around you and how people handle it makes all the difference in the world. You know, I've recently gained a different perspective by watching a video here on YouTube uh, from a guy named Jocko. He's a Navy SEAL that does a lot of podcasts now and, and a lot of teaching, really great. But it was confirmed with a friend of mine uh, that explained to me through the situation they're going to the exact concept, the exact same concept, just in a different way, uh, different, and wasn't about, you know, being a Navy SEAL, it was actually about a relationship. But it's about the difference in expectation and reality. And for instance, in a relationship, uh, the individual is going through a divorce and they're wondering why things got to the place they are with, with the person that they thought they were going to spend the rest of their life with. And they were forced, after a period of time when they were ready to face this themselves, they were forced to write down on a piece of paper uh, what they were missing about the person or what they thought they were missing about the person and what the person actually was. So I said, okay, well, I'm feeling bad because these are all the things in the relationship that I'm missing. But then they were forced to look at the realities of the actual relationship and say, is, is this what the person actually brought to the table? And what I found interesting for them and even you know dissecting things in my own life is that they listed out all these things essentially that they wanted out of the relationship but then when they dissected each line of what they wanted, it didn't translate over to what the relationship actually was and who that other person actually was. And for that person to realize that opened up like their mind completely. It just like, wow. Like, so essentially they learned through pain though, but they learned that their expectations exceeded the realities of what they actually lived and that difference between the two caused a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of um, tears, suffering from not just themselves but from other people, especially when they had an expectation on another person and reflected that on them and caused for them to be frustrated and they had expectations for themselves that they didn't meet and they were frustrated with themselves and sad. I think you see where that's going. To give a slight different example, kind of quick, actually think about this commercial I saw last year during the football season. Uh, this iPhone 11 commercial where they had all these kids throwing snowballs all over the place and they said in the commercial that everything was done with the iPhone 11. Everything was filmed with it. And essentially through the commercial what they're doing is they're building your expectations for an experience and being able to you know piece something together through video which then can be uploaded to like social media like you know TikTok or Twitter or Instagram or, or YouTube or whatever have that expectations be raised and compare it with your current reality saying hey look if you don't have an iPhone 11 you probably can't do this as cool with like you know, you know your Note 3 or something so you should probably make up the difference by buying our product now with a thousand dollar phone which I still think is insane because I used to have a car a Honda Civic like a 1999 Honda Civic that ran and got great gas mileage and I paid two thousand dollars for it so paying a thousand dollars for a phone but whatever that, I digress that's something different but you see what I mean like they take that expectation they raise that expectation on purpose in a fun way right and then say hey look in order to meet that expectation and compare it with your reality that's here uh, you're gonna make it up with a thousand dollars buying this phone. Now they say nothing about all the hard work it took to actually make that video. It probably took a lot of people, a lot of different iPhone 11s, a lot of different angles, and a lot of people editing for a long time in order to make that 30 second commercial or that one minute long commercial. They don't say all the hard work it takes in order for you to actually take that reality and bring it to your expectation. But in looking at that, the reason why I kind of want to touch up on this is, is knowing that, looking at my own life and looking at, first off, my own expectations for myself and my own life and then comparing that with my reality, 
that's a challenge. It is. I mean, it, 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 like I'm kind of saying before, like depending on what you're looking at, uh, it can bring out of you like pain and suffering and frustration and things like that um, if you let it. And a lot of people do. But then when you add in other people and then you start having expectations for other people that isn't even close to the realities of who they are, <laughs> that's dangerous. That's really dangerous because then now that relationship is now not potentially frustrating you, but it's frustrating another person that's dealing with their own level of their own expectation for themselves and their own reality. It, it, you, you see where that, that part is going. And... For this journey, especially like this Philadelphia journey for myself, that's not necessarily like what my definition of love is. Because love is more accepting of your reality, like where you actually are. Not saying, oh, what you can be, and, and until you're there, you're a disappointment, because that just sucks. <laughs> Nobody likes to wake up early in the morning and feeling like a disappointment from the start of the day. And understanding that, allows for me to at least step back a little bit and go, wait a minute, how am I communicating to other people and am I putting my unnecessary expectations on other people through my conversation or how I interact with them or so, and then am I adding potentially stress to somebody else's life through, through that? And then also looking at the mirror, am I even striving to meet my own expectations for my own life and then when I do that, Am I doing that because I don't want to feel pain and, and I'm trying to avoid certain things? Or am I actually looking at that part of, the, of a journey like joyfully and going, hey, look, the hard work in the process actually is going to build a strong individual and, and, and quality character and, and, and it's going to allow me to weed out the things in my life that don't matter, <laughs> you know, uh, and aren't worth my time, my resources, my energy. And can I look at, or can, are my expectations too high? I kind of don't think so because I want to have an awesome stinking in life. But then I'm also starting to realize the reason why even the last video that came out, uh, I am not even looking at myself anymore as a, oh, well, this is what I want to be in five or ten years. No, I'm looking at every day when I wake up and go, hey, my expectation not for five or ten years from now to be a certain place. My expectation today is to live today, you know, as if it was my last, but live, live today that I can be happy with what I actually did today. What I've accomplished, but also the relationships I have, the interactions I have, and, and I can be a positive to the people that are around me today. And accept people's reality today. And to keep my expectations for me or family or bosses at work or or businesses out there that that are filled with other imperfect people just like me how can I interact a little different knowing now and having a different perspective now that we're all dealing with our own stuff let alone having to deal with what other people have for us but then while we have to bridge that gap for ourselves so we're own, we have our own happiness inside our own heart from, for that journey trying to meet our own expectations, uh, can we do it with a smile? And realize there's going to be some people that don't accept your reality. Okay. That's okay. Your job in life is not to live up to somebody else's expectations of your life. <laughs> it's, that's not your job. Uh, it's not your responsibility for that. It's not. You have a hard enough time dealing with your own stuff, let alone carrying the weight and the burden of other people. What's cool is to surround yourself with people that accept your reality, accept you for who you are today, and your journey to try to get closer every single day with every single minute that you have left when we don't know when it's going to go away to live the best that you possibly can and be happy all during that journey mountaintops and valleys so 
managing of expectations and reality. The other video that's going to go along with this I'll do in maybe a couple days or so is not over explaining yourself because what you what I found is people that don't accept your reality will ask you to over explain yourself and that's just a lose in itself. I'll talk more about that later but today the perspective I hope to encourage other people let alone remind myself is manage your expectations in reality understand what they are and what you do to either accept that there's a gap or to try to get there and try to be a positive for yourself and to the people around you because that helps lift the weight off a little bit if you do it lovingly but if you don't and do it through anger and pain and suffering unnecessarily then it actually adds more weight and keeps people from getting there themselves or getting there with you in community with each other.